feet when I slide. What's going on everybody? It's Nelson from Hooping Life. Just got back from the gym. Just hooped in these LeBron 13s and here are my final thoughts on them. So the overall performance on these shoes are pretty good, but I'm not gonna lie, they do hurt me a little bit around the ankle area and the side of the forefoot. So to start things off, we're gonna go with the translucent sole and the LeBron 13s. The traction on these is very good. It's very grippy. The herringbone and the pods go in a multi-directional direction so you can move and cut well in any direction. Into the cushioning, the midsole it has four little zoom units and one big unit in the forefoot while also having one big air zoom unit in the heel. As far as the cushioning goes, I believe that's probably my favorite part of the shoe. It's very comfortable and springy and it's very responsive. As for the lockdown, it has great support because of the posit and the fly wire that wraps around your foot. So the material of the shoe is made of an entire upper and a one piece booty like sleeve with mesh and fly wire wrapping around your foot. It has hyper positive material on the midfoot and ankle, which provides impact protection around the ankle and gives you that stability that you need. But I've got to say the hyperposite in the midsole was really bugging me because I have a high arch. So if you have a high arch, I wouldn't recommend this shoe because of the posit right in the middle. It really presses against your foot. Comfort and size fit wise, I say these shoes are true to size. I believe that the collar can be a bit lower to give you more comfort. These little corners right here, it really digs into your legs when you move around laterally. I feel like that kind of bugged me a bit. In terms of price, the LeBron 13 goes for a pretty high retail sticker. It's $200. This pair is a ID version of the LeBron 13, which goes for $245. I mean, it's kind of steep, but if it's within your budget, I say go for it. My overall rating for these, I would have to give it an 8 out of 10. I wasn't a fan in the beginning when I first tried them on. It was really stiff. But after playing these in the gym, the traction was really good. And the cushioning was my favorite part because it was really comfortable. Other than the posit around the ankle and the posit in the midsole, those were the things that really hurt my foot, honestly. But overall, this is a really good performance shoe. I wouldn't choose this shoe as my go-to shoe to hoop in, but it probably is for others. Thank you guys for watching that review on the LeBron 13. If you guys have the LeBron 13s, did you like it? Was it comfortable for you? Would you recommend it for others? Make sure to leave that in the comments below. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.